Hey, what's up, guys? Chili Soup, and back to more Sukihime. Last time we left off having. Uh, well, we killed uh, uh, Yumizuka because she was uh, a vampire. Uh, and then we went home, we were treated by Akiha again, and then we went to bed. Now, uh, we're going on to the fourth day, I do believe. If I recall correctly, yeah. Day four, Dark Scar 1. I awaken to brilliant sunshine. I climb out of bed and look out the window. Checking something. The weather out the window is beautiful, truly fitting for a Sunday. That is, there isn't a cloud in the sky as if trying to tell me everything that happened yesterday was just a dream. But it was not. Is it morning? My chest hurts. The unmatched clear sky greets me as it always does. But that fact just hurts me too much. That girl. The girl who disappeared last night will never be able to experience a morning like this again. Shiki-sama, are you awake? <clears throat> that voice brings me back to reality. What is it all of a sudden? Being regretful. Is that hypocrisy? Shiki-sama, are you awake, Shiki-sama? Knock-knock comes a hesitant sound at the door. I'm back in my room. No matter how much regret I feel, I wake up just like always. <sighs> as long as I live, I can't escape reality. Yep, yeah, Yumizuka's gone. It's your fault. Well, not really. Well, not his fault, really, but he's, he didn't. He, he, he's the one who killed her, but yeah. No matter how much I regret it. Yeah, I'm up. I'm in. Please excuse me. The door opens with a clink, and Hisui enters. My phone on mute. Or vibrate. Good morning, Shikisama. Did she come to get my change of clothes? She's carrying a clean set. Morning, Hisui. Um, has everyone had breakfast already? Shikisama. Forgive my rudeness, but did you check the time since you woke up? Eh? The time? It's still morning. The clock claims it's just past 12. <laughs> Eh? Why does this clock say it's noon already? I assume Akiha probably told Hisui not to wake him up because of how injured he was last night, if I were to guess. I think the clock is not the one who has the timing, correct, Shikisama? I came to wake you many times this morning. Oh no, okay, no. Just, he, he just couldn't wake, didn't wake up. But you did not open your eyes even once. Uh... <laughs> Is it really that deep of a sleep? Not just my mind, but my body suffered heavy wounds, I suppose. I see. Sorry. You came to wake me up. Just what was I doing? Ah, it was a late night, but I still shouldn't have slept in like that. No, you did not have sco uh, school today. Sleeping in was an option, but... Shikisama, you intend to go out again tonight? Eh? No, not at all. Ah, more importantly, I wonder how Akiya is. I think she was up late last night, too. Akiya-sama woke me up, uh, woke up at her usual time this morning. Isui looks like she wants to say something more, but she answers my question. Well, yeah, you know. Oh. She really is different from me, leading that disciplined lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, you lucked out. I think back to what happened last night. Well, I was still in a daze, super over what happened with Yimizuka. Akiha took care of me without asking any questions. After that, um, it's a little embarrassing, so I don't want to remember it. You, you hugged her, and then, you know, she's like, you know, stay with your cute little sister. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting time. Hisui, is Akiha still here? She's an awfully busy person, so does she have a routine on her day off? Yes, she does have plans during her day off, but today she's still in the mansion. Hmm? She has plans, but she's still here? I don't quite get it, but... Well, I'll get changed, so please head to the sitting room ahead of me. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, please excuse me. 
Interesting. I mean, she is concerned. As usual, Isui glides away without a sound. Almost like she's a ghost. <clears throat> ah, Isui. Yes. <clears throat> what is she, Isama? Yeah, I forgot to say something. Thanks for coming to wake me up. It's a little late, but <laughs> good morning, Isui, or good afternoon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 excited for her route. Yes. Please have a nice day, Shikisama. Staring up at the ceiling, I let out a deep breath. About you, Mr. Kasatsuki, that's something I can never forget for the rest of my life. Hey, Natai. But I'm not I will not let that control my life. It's good. Good for you, Sh uh, I, I almost called him Shiro, uh, Shiki. I have a home to return to. Aki is here for me, and I have an ordinary life to live. Well, as ordinary as being a rich kid can be, but you know. To protect all of that, I betrayed her. So, if I can't protect that, then everything will have been a lie. Is that just sugarcoating it? I, I don't know. I, I don't think so, but... Maybe all I can do is deceive myself. Well, he's always waiting. I should change quickly and go back to the normal life waiting for me in the sitting room. Yeah, it's totally gonna be normal. Not like any uh, other supernatural shit's gonna go on. For sure, for sure. In the sitting room, Aki is on the sofa. Kohaku-san is keeping her company and Hisui is standing by the wall. <clears throat> Good morning, Shiki-san. Morning, Kohaku-san. Sorry to be a bother. <clears throat> but, could you, but, but could you fix me something to eat? I'm a little hungry for all that sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Sleeping does it to you. <clears throat> uh, yes, right away. I'll get it ready, so please wait a little bit. Kohaku-san quickly patters away towards the dining room. That leaves Akiha and Hisui, who is standing wordlessly like a statue. Yo, Akiha. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, she's gonna appreciate the yo. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, that's, he's doing this on purpose, 100%. The fucking yo and like the clipped good morning, good morning. <laughs> like, she's like, really? Really, man? Akiya just looks at me with a dissatisfied look on her face and doesn't return my greeting. <clears throat> uh, I knew she'd be upset about last night. I know I deserve it since I embraced her like that last night. <laughs> Akiya. Uh, last night was... Ahem. Nissan. Sleeping in the slate. Just what were you- uh, just what were you thinking? Uh, um, well I... Uh, sorry. Yeah, I should give up. <laughs> fair- fair enough. Ahem. Jeez, I'm not mad about that. It's your day off and you've chosen to sleep in until now. It's your laziness that angers me. With a hoof, Akiha angrily turns her face away. Okay. Well, it may just be my imagination, but peevishly is a better word than angrily. Maybe. Well, I couldn't help it. I got in late last night and my body was just tired. Yeah, you were bit and like cut up, so you know. <clears throat> you brought that on yourself. <clears throat> no matter what the circumstances, please obey the rules of this house. I'll try. Erk. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but since she went to sleep the same time I did, and still woke up early, I really can't counter her argument. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Besides, Nissan. Uh, shouldn't you let Hisui wake you up in the morning? I let you go today because of last night, but you always sleep around in bed too long, Nissan. Um, Akiha. Maybe it's not my place to say, but it's not like I'm sleeping in because I want to. <laughs> what? <clears throat> so how come you always sleep in until the last minute every morning? You don't know how I feel when I wait for you until the last minute, and... Akiha-sama. Ah. <laughs> what is that look? <laughs> uh, 
I guess she's embarrassed because she was about to go on a on that little tirade. I, I don't know. Hmm. Where did where, where did the dire threatening atmosphere go? All of a sudden, Akiha descends into silence. Fair. Hey, Akiha. I said so before, but waking past seven o'clock in the morning isn't intentional. Even I would like to get up earlier, but my body doesn't listen to what I tell it. If you want... <laughs> if you want to help me wake up earlier, <laughs> please buy me a really powerful alarm clock. Does he have no shame asking his little sister for... <laughs> to buy him stuff? I'm sure that'd get me up. This is the, um... I can't think of a name for an alarm clock, so uh, yeah, you know. <clears throat> Moving on. <clears throat> uh, Nissan, if this may be a stupid question, but did you ever tell Yisui what time you wanted her to wake you up? It's a good point. So, good point. <laughs> ah, that's right. I forgot such a simple thing as that. <laughs> oh yeah, Yisui comes every morning to wake me, so it's all right for her to do that. So, Hisui, could you could you please wake me up at 6.30 each morning? Yeah, right? She usually comes in at like 6.50. So... It would really help me out. Okay. I swing around to face Hisui. She stares right back at me. I refuse. Eh? <laughs> okay. Uh, what now, Akiha? What, what, what do you want me to do now? I, uh, I, I gave him the best shot. <laughs> uh, forgive me, but I refuse to wake you up, Shikisama. Well, um, I don't know what to say. The shock put my brain on hold. Looking at the situation, Akia's also gaping at Hisui in surprise. What? <laughs> Akia's like, what am I paying you for? <laughs> the fuck? <clears throat> He's we. Why can't you wake up Nissan? I am unable to undertake things I cannot do. I do not think I'm able to wake up Shiki Sama with my own power. You know, I, I can't blame her, to be honest. I, I really can't. Unable? Uh, why not? Or that's it, that was cheeky. Uh, unable? Why not? I unthinkingly enter their conversation. Yisui continues staring at me. Well, Shiki, you know... These past three days, all my efforts were useless, uh, were fruitless. Shiki-sama, do you remember how many times I called your name this morning? No, I don't remember. I woke up from your voice? I thought I woke up by myself. There's no memory of me even calling out. Akiyasama, that is the situation. Oh, I see. Akiya says and looks over at me teasingly. <laughs> uh... How do I say this? It would seem my standing here has just been lowered quite a bit. <laughs> God damn it. In short, you have tried repeatedly to wake up Nissan, but there isn't even the slightest reaction on his part. That's how it is, he, uh, how it is, Hisui. Hisui nods silently. Yeah, well, you know, fair. I nod silently as well. I see. The truth is, Hisui's already been trying to wake me up early in the morning. I don't want to say it myself, but I must be really good at sleeping in. I don't know if that's what you want to be good at, but okay. Nissan. Oh, why are you looking so proud of yourself? <laughs> Other than, I was just surprised by how daunting it is to wake me. <laughs> hmm. I understand. Key sweet, just up before, please try and wake up Nissan as much as you can. Ah, <laughs> Key sweet nods in assent. I think the last few days have been, um. Uh, 
unique. So I, th I think moving forward, it'll be it'll be better. Hopefully. It seems like the conversation is finished. In the end, it may be just me waking up whenever I feel like it again. True. Very true. Hey, by the way, he's sweet. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, what is it? Um, does Nissan really not wake up? Even if you call his name, he doesn't respond. What's going on here? <laughs> uh, yes. Shikisama, uh, uh, Shikisama's sleep is very quiet. And he sleeps like a statue. Like a statue? What? Uh, Akia? I don't... I don't like that face. <laughs> what, what are you planning? <laughs> uh, uh... This is, uh... Warning signals going off in my brain. <laughs> hmm. Nissan has a great sleeping posture, huh? No, that is not it. How do I say it? Um, Shikisama is like a completely different person when he sleeps. Okay, what- what is- I assume- I assume- I assume rather than, like, Kohaku, it's Hisui? That is the- that was, uh, like, in the, the one choice where, like, think of Akiha or- the one, uh, energetic girl, or whatever the wording is. I assume that's referring to Hisui and not Kohaku. So I assume they were probably on good terms and she likes him, maybe? If I were to guess? I don't know. I have never seen such a peaceful sleeping face. So when I first saw him, I thought he had passed away. I... So it's not quite, uh, so it's not quite that it's hard to awaken, but it seems, uh, but that it seems very rude to do so. So, uh, so, uh, oh, wrong, wrong person. Um, I don't know, it's just... I feel like with how she seems... I don't know how to put it, because... It... <sighs> The way it's worded makes it seem that Shiki and said girl were on good terms. And so, if that were the case, if it were Kohaku, I would think she would have asked to be Shiki's servant instead of Akiha's. So, I don't, I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. I'll see. So it's not quite that it's hard to awaken, but it, that it seems very weird to do so, so I cannot help but be, but be very gentle. Once Shiki-san was about to wake up by himself, warmth returns to his white face, and I know he'll wake, he'll wake up soon, but... Looking down, Isui talks about how I look when I sleep. I don't remember if I got this one or not, but I'll do it again. <laughs> I also have a theory that they're not sisters or twins, but they're the same person, and were somehow split. But that's very outlandish, which I also don't want like confirmation or uh, rejection about either. Just, I'll, I'll see. I'll see when we get there. I'll see. <clears throat> I can't help but feel embarrassed. <laughs> Akio's like, I see. I see. <sighs> to think of it, a sleepy person is completely defenseless, and after listening to that explanation, I flush as red as if she said she saw me naked. <laughs> um, well, you know, he sweet descends into silence, and Akia is obviously trying not to look in my direction. <laughs> um, the air has become a little heavy. Thanks for waiting. Shiki-san, breakfast is ready. A bright voice saves the situation. Like, I, I I only think that because of how polar opposite they are. Like... And the fact that Shiki only remembers one... other girl other than Akiha. That, that's, that's the only reason why I think that, is that maybe... 
like the two opposite ends of that girl's personality were like split into two people. I don't know. That's literally the only reason why I would think so. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'll eat up. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, please take your time. Eating. <clears throat> Turning my back to Kohaku's on smile, I head to the dining room alone. Uh, after I eat lunch, Akiha and Hisui are still in the sitting room. It wouldn't be good to ignore them and go back to my room, so I sit on the sofa across from Akiha. Oh, she doesn't have the apron on! Oh, yeah, that's really true. Yeah, that one was a bit concerning. I mean, it would be easy if I just streamed every day leading up to the, uh, before I have to pack my computer up, but knowing myself, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, oh, I have the, like, the slightest headache. I don't want to stream. <laughs> like, I, yeah. Here she is, son. I keep it for green tea, right? Kohaku-san places an after-meal cup of tea on the table beside me. Wait, how do you know that? Well, I guess if... You know, oh, yeah, I guess you would know that from, like, when they were... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, thanks. If you don't mind, then. <laughs> no, not at all. This is your home, so please relax a little more. Kohaku-san must be trying to make me feel more comfortable here because she takes good care of me. Yeah, you don't, yeah, well, oh, never mind. Uh, yeah? Jeez, I'm thinking I'm how to, jeez, I'm thinking I'm how to use this place. Uh. Huh? It might have just been like a preference thing, like maybe Hisui likes Western style more. Because I mean, there's the Japanese style building back in the like garden area in the woods. And <laughs> their father apparently liked both types of architecture, so I guess maybe he just had them wear different ones. I don't know. Ah, uh, geez, I'm thinking I'm already used to this place. Do I still look a little strained? <laughs> yes, just a little bit. Your shoulders seem a little tense. I wouldn't say you should be, uh, should be like that uh, back then. But you certainly uh, can't relax a bit more. At Kohaku, you shouldn't spoil me, son. He's been living like a sloth at the Arimus house so long, it's probably good for him to be a little tense just at first. Ah, <sighs> thank you, Akiha, for your input. I also gotta do the rest of the fate bad ends one of these days. I still have like four or five bad ends to do that I just haven't. <sighs> okay, so he. you are really strict with Shiki Sama, are you not? I don't want to be strict. It's just that he's always so spaced out. I have to watch out for him. Huh? I'm a little surprised. When Akiha talks to Kawakusan, there isn't any hint of her usual coldness. Well, I mean, you know, who, who knows what they, do, what they do in their own time, you know? Maybe they have a closer relationship. Um, yes. Maybe it's because they're so close in age, but they seem to be really good friends. I glance over at Hisui. Since Akiha dismissed all of the other servants except for Hisui and Kawakusan, I think Hisui must be trusted by Akiha as well. But since Kohaku-san is a complete opposite in personality, I have a feeling that there isn't much talk between Hisui and Akiha. Yeah, probably not. May I be of service, Shikisama? Hisui realizes I was looking at her and asks me if there's anything she can do. Oh, no, no, we're good. Uh, no, it's nothing. I was just thinking that you're really calm. Yes. <clears throat> It is something that Makihisa-sama taught to me. 
I don't like that how that's phrased. I don't like that. And the way how, how she didn't like when she, uh, Shiki tried to touch her on the first day. Uh uh. I don't like it. She answers very distinctly. The answer is so distinct, I can't, I can't continue the conversation. Uh, I get a little uncomfortable and go silent. It seems Kohaku-san and Akiha are still talking. Um, Shiki-sama, is it okay if I ask you a question? Eh? Uh, yeah. What is it? It seems like you departed the mansion last night again. So I would like to inquire if you had some uh, usual scheduled routine to take care of every night. No. Uh, no, I don't have anything like that. The past two days were just, were just something special. I steal a glance at Akiya's face as I say this. Akiya is just quietly watching the two of us. <laughs> yeah! It would appear neither Hisui nor Kohaku-san know about my run-in with Akiya last night. I don't know who's talking. It, okay, it's alright, Hisui. I won't go out late at night anymore. Besides, I'm not kidding anymore, so it's not like there's any danger in going out at night other than getting murdered. <sighs> you say that, but Shikisama, you're the eldest son of the Tono family. Please refrain from doing anything careless. Yes, yes, just as Hisui chan says. Your, per uh, your personal physician told me that you should not strain yourself. Besides, you have anemia. That's true, but it has nothing to do with going out late at night. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I can't walk by myself, I shouldn't be going to school either, right? Well, yes. But during the day, it's bright outside and people could uh, help you, right? But at night, it's different. There's been all these vampire murders recently, so if you go outside and collapse, what do you think will happen? Get taken advantage of and murdered? I don't know. Ah. Without thinking, my body shudders. <clears throat> killer vampire. The killer indiscriminately killing people on the streets at night. Last night, the classmate I killed with my own hand. No, Shiki, it doesn't make sense though. Man, you think about it. She was only doing it for two days. It's been going on for like a week. No, it's okay, Kwaku-san. <sighs> I thought in this route we would get away from his- from this misunderstanding, but apparently not. There isn't any vampire out there anymore. Incidents, they won't ever happen again, or they won't happen ever again. Because Yumizu Kasatsuki is no longer in this world. <laughs> oh? Is that true, Akihasama? <laughs> I haven't heard anything about it. If they want to ask his Nissan, he seems to, have, uh, seems to know something about it. Uh, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was a victim from your high school, Nissan. Uh, year two, class three is your class, right? <clears throat> eh? Um. Okay, I guess it's being assumed that Yumi Zuko was killed and her body just wasn't found. If I were to guess, is what the assumption is. Eh? There wasn't a victim from my class. Ah, Shiki-san, you didn't see the news this morning. 
Last night, they found a large quantity of blood from someone named Yumi Kasatsuki in an alley off the main street. <laughs> the, the blood seems to have been there for a while, but from the amount of blood there, they say she's more than likely dead. My heart starts to throb violently. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, the vampire did that. The fact that Yumi Sukasatsuki is dead. I know that better than anyone else. Wait. 2000? Did. Unless her blood was on. Record. They shouldn't have had a way to tell it was hers. Or like her DNA was on record. Maybe she shoplifted when she was a kid, so they had her DNA, DNA on file? I don't know. <laughs> like, that just seems really weird. Unless they tested the blood against her parents? Because cause if, she, cause if she was missing and they found blood, they could have tested it against her parents and matched that. But it wouldn't have happened in like 12 hours. In 2000, I don't think the... the... Yeah, this makes zero sense. Unless they have like... <laughs> like technology from now in this universe, but like... This, this doesn't make sense. Even if they tested it against her parents because she was missing, so they're like, oh, this might be her blood. It would still take more than 12 hours to... And heck, she probably wasn't found until like... 4, 8, or like 3 a.m. Then they have to go to repair. No, but even, no, it, even, it still makes zero sense. Like lab work in 2000 took like at least a day. Like, this makes zero sense. Especially because they, they have to get the blood from both the parents to maps to, like, it, it just doesn't make sense. Because, like, they probably wouldn't have even gotten the blood from her parents until it was, like, 8 a.m. Or somewhere around there, or, like, maybe, like, 6 a.m. And then it would have... Like, seven hours is not enough, or six, seven hours is not enough. Even, even today, it would take longer than that. <laughs> I don't... <sighs> but when they say she's dead, it sounds like you killed her, didn't you, to me? Misan, oh, what's wrong? You're really pale. I can't say I'm alright. Her death. I'm sad that her death was publicized in reality and cannot stay as something just in my heart. I said I wouldn't regret it, but a shadow envelops me as soon as I think about her. And then... <clears throat> Everyone, let's have a welcome party tonight! Thank you, Kwaku. I'm trying to break the tension. I, I, I see you. Kohaku-san suddenly makes a loud announcement. Huh? Akia and I say the same thing aloud, and even Hisui tilts her head. Kohaku is probably guessing that we were friends with Satsuki, which, you know, we were, kind of. So. I'm not gonna party for Shiki-san. I think I'm- I don't know if I mentioned it before, actually, but when I was looking for a, a, a sprite for Kohaku, uh, for a thumbnail, I accidentally saw one of her CGs, and it was, like, her side profile, and she was crying. So... I just want- I just want to throw that there, so that way, you know. That one, that, that, that CG won't surprise me when I see it. 
I saw another CG as well, but I don't remember what it was. So, well, it's a good thing, I suppose. Everyone's here and we haven't even celebrated Shiki-san's arrival yet. So tonight should be uh, Shiki-san's welcome party. Right? Kohaku-san looks at me and smiles. Crap. I must have looked really depressed. <laughs> Akiya-sama, is that acceptable? If you allow it, we can start the preparations right away. Uh, yes, Nissan has finally come back and we haven't even done anything. I think it's a good idea, but... Isui, you agree, right? Ah, uh, uh, yes, if it's acceptable to Shiki-sama, I do not think it will be a bad thing. Interesting. The three of them turned to stare at me. I don't know any context behind it, it was literally just a CG. So... All I know is that something depressing is gonna happen. <laughs> I assume. Something really depressing that will make you think Ohaku cry. Like being choked out and... nutted on. But, you know. <clears throat> I... Okay, let me bring up the guy. I didn't, I didn't have it up. I assume... This is what, day four? Of course I agree. Okay. Of course. Of course, of course. Yeah. I've decided not to have any regrets, and I don't want Kohaku-san to worry about me. I'm in favor. I'm not about to turn down my own local party, am I? It's decided. <laughs> well then, I'll prepare the food. Yisui Chan, can you take care of my work for today? I'll be fine. Sweeping the lobby in the east building. Ahem. <laughs> well then, I, uh... Well then, I shall... Uh, what should I do, Kwaku? <laughs> Akiya Sama and Shiki uh, Shiki-san should rest in their rooms. I'll prepare dinner early to make time for the party. So if you have anything you would like to do, please try and uh, be done by then, okay? Okay. Kohaku-san goes into the kitchen. Isui out to the courtyard. <laughs> well, then I'll go to my room. So... What should I do? I guess if I tried to help Isui, I would just get in the way. Since Aki is actually home for a change, I guess I'll pass the time talking to her. Oh? Aki, are you here? Eh? Ni Nissan? <coughs> hurried sounds can be- <coughs> Hurried sounds can be heard from within. I just wanted to talk for a bit, if that's okay. Ah, uh, yes, please come in. I put my hand on the doorknob. Thinking about it. <coughs> this is the first time I've ever been in Akiya's room. It's gonna be, like, completely juxtaposed to, like, the serious, uh persona she puts out. It's gonna be like pink with like teddy bears everywhere. Hmm. I open the door a bit tensely. Oh, no, it's pretty normal, just rich person room. Um. One, one, one minute. I can't find a picture of just the room, so this will have to do. Oh, no, what? Why did it... Hang on. No, what? What, what is... No, I, I should want to see the image. Open image. Uh, 
I guess the room is exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> Fair. Enough, I suppose. <clears throat> uh, what is it, Nissan? Is there something important to make it uh, come to my room? No, nah, not at all. I just feel like talking for a bit. If you're busy, I can come back. I can come back later. Uh, hang on a second. I have a call to take. Uh, BRB. Okay. Uh, apologies for that. Just had to. Uh... Yeah, I just deal with something real quick. Um, yeah. Bazin and Karn were originally created to be part of Tsukime. Interesting. What would... I mean, that would have been a cool little crossover, to be honest. Like, with her being... Because this, this obviously takes place, you know, five years before, or six years. Part of Suki 2. Oh! How would a second one have worked? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Well, I am busy, but I can put that off uh, to, make uh, to, to, uh, to make time to talk with you. Akia tidies up the notebook on her desk. Oh, you were doing homework? Then I should go. I shouldn't interrupt your, stu your studies. No, I just a bit to start, so I can leave it for tonight. It's fine, so please sit down. I should make some tea. Alright, but no tea, thanks. I wouldn't want to spoil my appetite today. Ah, th that's true. Uh, then I'll do the same. Why is she so nervous? <laughs> fine, oh, okay. I still don't know how I'm gonna do, like, content for that. Maybe with, like, maybe every time I read, like, two chapters, I do a video or something, but, like, two ch But if I read it, I'd want to do, like, ten chapters at least at a time. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see. Akia sits on the chair for desk. Unless I just send a Hail Mary like email to the fucking like publishing company and be like hey I have 200 subs on YouTube can I read your manga on on video probably wouldn't work out <laughs> like like two, 200 200,000 no 200 like uh, uh F you <laughs> go away <laughs> like oh okay fair enough <laughs> fair enough then Cause I know some, there, there are a few, like some of the Hololive members and um, like Sea Dog VA got like permission to like read like a manga on stream before, for, like a couple times, but like it's a very rare thing. Yeah, it's not that you can't do it, it's that those companies don't like it. They don't really ever do anything about it, but you, well, usually, usually, but. problem is they they're less inclined to work with you later on like like let's say I doubt it'll happen but let's say I somehow hit like a million subs and like I, I want to work with uh, like Kodansha or or just or you like just type moon or you photoable or something like that or not you but like what whoever the publisher for the, the like the manga stuff is for like Suki and Fate, right? They would they would look at my channel and be like, oh, "You're fucking with our you're like <laughs> you're using our content for videos." And it's like yeah, they they just, yeah just, they, they don't appreciate stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, I probably already shot myself in the foot because of the anime reactions, to be honest. <laughs> So at this point, I should- I probably shouldn't care. But... Yeah, I don't know, it's... 
again, because of the, the, the visual novel background, maybe they, in particular, wouldn't care. But I know a lot of like publishers and whatnot in general would don't in like that sort of thing. Like in terms of like manga and light novels and whatnot. Uh, I lower myself into a suit. Uh, Akia sits on the chair of her desk. And I lower myself into a suitable chair and glance around Akia's room. It's an amazing room, but of course it's not really my type of place. I haven't even been able to settle into my own room. And that's just to bend the desk. If they'd given me a room decked out like this, I might have fled. Hey, Akia. Uh, yes. Oh, what is it? Um, it's just something I've been wondering about for a while. Why did you call me back? The old man died, and while I am the eldest son, that doesn't seem like much of a reason. Well, one, to protect you, and two, she wanted her big brother back. <laughs> Ahem, what do you mean, not much of a reason? This is your home. It's only natural for you to come back here. That doesn't need to be a reason. Well, it's true, but don't you have a grudge against me? I left you here for eight years. Him. Yes, of course I have a grudge. It was father's, it was father's fault you were sent to live with Darimus, but it really made me mad that you didn't send even a single letter during that time. Uh, no, that was... That was what? Ahem. Come on, Nissan, what is it? You come in here to remind me of things I almost forgot. Do you enjoy making me angry that much? No! Of course I didn't do it to make you angry. The thing about the letter, I didn't do it because that old man forbade me to do it, so... I know that! I'm angry because you brought it up! Ah. I'm sorry, I just wondered. Shouldn't have mentioned it. Indeed. Please don't talk about such trifling matters. With a sound of annoyance, Akia looks away. Really, what am I doing? After, to the, after I took the trouble to come and talk to Akia, why am I making such an unimportant... Or why am I talking about such, a, about such unimportant things? Sorry, just checking something really quick. Ah! But I guess it's like you to carry such a small matters forever. Kohaku said so too, right? This is your home. You should be more relaxed. Yeah, I think I'll get used to it gradually. But... But what? Well, no, just... There's no nostalgia. I remember life in the mansion, but I've been, I'm confused. Because none of this matches my memories. Well, I guess I've been away for eight years, so it's natural. Hmm? Uh, hmm? What's with that expression? Like I said, I don't have anything against the mansion. Don't worry, I don't, I don't want to leave or anything. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I'm glad, but... She really should have just, like, outright told them what the fuck was going on. <laughs> it would save so much hassle if she just talked to him. <laughs> ah, he looks weird for some reason. And Nissan, I have a question I forgot to ask, too. It's about the injury from the accident eight years ago. Hmm? Injury from the accident? You mean the wound in my chest? Yes. Kawaku said it hasn't completely healed yet. But does it still trouble you? Hmm. I don't know. The actual wound itself healed ages ago. But there's some unstable organs that got damaged. I heard that some of those would heal in time, but some would just stay unstable. I guess in my incessant, I guess my incessant anemia is a result of that, in addition to, uh, to some emotional damage from the accident. Does it, um, hurt me, son? Akiha murmurs a question, looking away. Nah, it doesn't hurt anymore. I just feel a little dizzy when I wake up. No worse than that. He lies. If he sees or thinks about like too much blood, pain. Well, perhaps it uh, hurts occasionally in the dead of winter. The dizziness has faded lately, and I'm sure the anemia will go away in a few years. 
Anyway, it's nothing to worry about. Uh, there are people out there with wounds they won't recover from for 20 years, so my wounds nothing in comparison. Ah. Akiya says nothing, still looking away. Damn. The atmosphere has become heavy again. Akiya is completely motionless. Hmm? Somehow it seems unnatural. Hey, Akiya! Nissan. Akiya looks up. She lacks all vitality, as if she was passed out until now. What's wrong? Do you feel bad? If you do, you should lie down. I'll go back to my room. N n no, that's not it. I, I was just listening to you. I was remembering about the past. Akiya's body shakes. She almost falls off her chair, but she remains in it somehow. a halting breath. Akia, you're really acting strangely. You should lie down. No, it's alright. It's not as bad as yours, but I get but I get easily dizzy too. I was just thinking about the accident years ago. Your wound was so deep and there was so much blood coming out of it. That's why I felt so bad. I see. If that's so, but don't push yourself. If you feel bad, please tell me. Of course. I would do that without being told. It's alright. Unlike yours, my dizziness is purely mental. Akia answers me clearly, completely recovered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Ahem. It's almost time, isn't it? Uh, Kohaku will call us soon, so you uh, so should go back to your room. Ah, five o'clock already? Well, I'll go back to my room, but Akia, don't push yourself. Doesn't do any good enough to speak up when you're suffering. You have no room to talk, Shiki. Oh, ahem. It's not like you to be uh, so concerned about me, Nissan. Ahem. Maybe I should do so once in a while. Dummy. It's just an occasional thing. I'll see you later. They're definitely a lot closer. Or at least she seems a little more open and teasing in this than she did the first two routes. I open the door. Akio's room is at the very end of the west wing, a good 50 meters from my room, at the end of the east wing. Ah, Nissan. Hmm? What is it? Did you forget something? And no, it's not that, but... Akio falls silent, unable to find the right words. With the eyes gazing at me. I'm sorry. It's nothing. Seems like they're apologizing to me. Yeah, cause she's, she's, she's keeping secrets in mind to you, man. I'll see you in the, in the dining room later. I won't get angry whatever you do today, so don't worry. Ah, that's a relief. <laughs> Since Kohaku-san cooked us a feast, I was hoping we might be able to forget, forget about table manners today. <laughs> With that... I leave Akia's room. <laughs> well then, a toast to Shikisa's homecoming. Everyone, please take whatever you would like to drink. <laughs> uh, that was more like Akiha mixed with Kohaku. I don't know what I did. What I did there. Uh, Kohaku lines up drinks in front of us with a full smile, entirely free of malice. <laughs> Most of the drinks didn't happen to be juice or anything like that, but proper alcoholic beverages. <laughs> like, here you go, Shiki-san, drink, your, drink your sorrows away. <laughs> like, ah, uh, thanks, Gohaku. Uh, Akia? Hmm? What is it, Nisan? <laughs> There's a gurgling as Akia fills her glass with a tawny liquid, then adds a little orange juice. <laughs> that, that wouldn't be whiskey, would it? It would. Is there something wrong? It would. Akia! Um, aren't we all too young to be drinking? <laughs> oh no, man. Damn, this is your welcoming party. We have to have alcohol, don't we? Or, Nissan, you're weak when it comes to alcohol. I. Okay. 
Akia seems somehow delighted. Is she is she a, is she a boozy? Ah, Hisuichan. That's unusual. Not just today. See me a little shy. <laughs> he sweet silently pours wine into her glass. Him, see me, son. Even he sweet is drinking. Surely you don't intend to be the only one drinking juice. Jeez. You really want to get the worst out of this party, don't you, Akia? What the fuck did I just say? You really want to get the most out of this party, don't you? Uh, yes, <laughs> I don't usually like parties, but today is an, is an exception. Huh. Well, it can't be helped. A lot of alcohol isn't good for my body, but a little bit should be okay. The weakest drink laid out on the, laid out on the table is the wine, it looks like. <laughs> well, then everyone raise your glasses, please. Cheers. With a glass... Uh, uh, with a clash, our glasses come together. Ohaku tosses hers down in a single gulp. Akia takes her time, and Hisui sips hers quietly. Oh man, I'm not responsible for this. I mean, you're probably the oldest. Maybe Kohaku, but... And in less than an hour, Hisui falls asleep and Kohaku-san carries her to her room with a smile. Hisui's like, um, I'm shit, cuh. Oh, my headset! alcohol. My mind is a little fuzzy. <sighs> Akia sits nearby and is still drinking eagerly. <laughs> it doesn't bode well for the rest of the evening. Akia, you really have some tolerance, don't you? Oh? <laughs> I'm not drinking it straight up, so I think it's about normal. Pretty used to, to drinking for being a minor. <laughs> Jeez, making that face again. Please get at least a little drunk, Nissan. Go, Haku, prepare all of this to cheer you up so it's not meaningless if you don't. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I have to thank Go, Haku, son, for her consideration. <clears throat> Thanks to that, I do feel a bit better. What are you saying? You don't look happy at all. If alcohol doesn't make you feel better, isn't there, isn't there nothing left? Wow, that's a little bold. Saying nothing is left if alcohol doesn't work. Isn't that mistaken? <laughs> that, that's a concerning outlook, Hakia. It cannot be helped if you don't know if you don't wish to speak to me, Nissan. If you were talking about last night, I wouldn't ask you uh I wouldn't ask for the help with alcohol. Wait, are, are you trying to get us to talk by being drunk? I see. Just like Kohaku-san, Akia is worried about, is concerned about me. But I can't ask, right? I already promised no longer to ask about it. Sorry. I'm just a big burden to everyone. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as you understand, it's alright. Um, as you say, I seem to be a little drunk, so I will go outside. Drunk, but her steps are firm as she exits the dining room. Yeah. 
following Akiha. I go out to the courtyard to get some fresh air. It's still before 6 o'clock. The red sun paints the sky. Still the afternoon? There's no one else around. I thought Akiha was going to be here, but I guess we miss each other. Red sunset. Uh-oh. Roro. Until now, the red sunset reminded me of fresh blood. Uh, pass out time? But today, it reminded me of her final smile as we parted on the road home. Throb. A stabbing pain in my chest. Does the scar on my chest hurt? Or is my heart in pain from regret? I can't tell the difference. Only that my chest hurts. As if it was bleeding. Maybe it is. <laughs> Dizziness assails me. Because of the alcohol and the pain in my chest. Uh, such a small, insignificant thing causes me to lose consciousness. My house is this way. Wait, what? Saying that, she went down a different path. Okay. Thanks. She probably said that since I was there for her until the very end. Sorry. She probably said that since, uh, since she knew I would carry this regret from now on. So it's okay to forget. I felt like she whispered those words in my ears. Isn't that just a false happiness? In a dream I dreamed about, I dreamed such selfish words. If I can just forget, it will be very easy for me. But I can't forget. I didn't like her, nor did I hate her, but... I think I shouldn't forget her smile. And more than that, as long as the, as long as the scar remains on my neck, I can't forget. Ah. When I come to, I'm lying in my room. While I was sleeping, Akiha must have been watching me because she's there in front of me. Akiha? Huh? Have you awakened? Uh, goodness, something crashed uh, like that. What happened to you, son? I see. Did I pass out? Yes. Uh, thankfully, you woke up quickly. I'm sorry for forcing you to drink like that. No, that has nothing to do with this. I just collapsed on my own. Yeah... I mean... Murdering someone does that to you, I guess. Saying that, I stare up at the ceiling. My head is still dizzy, and I don't feel like talking with Akiha right now. Even still, Akiha's not bothered by this, so she quietly tends to me. Akiha? Uh, yes. Uh, what is it, son? Um, well... Isn't this boring for you? I'm fine, so you can go back to your, to your room if you want. Are you saying I'm bothering you? No, that's not it at all. I was just thinking that maybe you were a little bored. It is boring, but I can stand it. This is something I'm doing out of my own interest, so there's no need for, uh, for you to worry, Nissan. Then, I guess it's alright. Time passes. It's past 7 o'clock. Seven hours since then. Has Akiha been tending me this long? You passed out at 6. What, what are you, what, what, is, what is he on about? <laughs> Akia silently takes my temperature. Ah, I remember now. It had to have been more than eight years ago. Akia came to watch over me after I caught a cold or something like that. It really was a terrible cold. Even breathing was painful. The black haired girl sat by my pillow, holding my hand and just staring at me. Tommy and the Shoji. The cool winter air. In the dark Tommy mat room, the young figure of Akiha watching me on the verge of tears. I'm a little relieved. Eh? Did you say something, Nissan? Yeah. I was just thinking that there's a little bit of the old Akiha in you. It's not really anything, but it makes me pretty happy. 
I give Akiha a gentle smile so naturally it almost surprises me. That is fine, but you haven't changed at all, Nissan. Causing so much work for others. Please act more properly. Akiha looks away and complains. Well, as meanwhile, on the inside, she's like, yes. <laughs> Understanding she's just embarrassed, I start to feel even happier. I purposefully ignored them more. <laughs> Sheesh, why are you smelling like that? If you have this much energy, uh, I guess you don't need me to take care of you. No, that's not it. I just remember something from a long time ago. Akia, in that tatami room. Tatami room? What's that all about? I understand Akia taking care of me, but why was it in a tatami room and not my room? Uh, no reason. Something... Something not quite right. Akia, is there a room with tatami in this mansion? No, there are no Japanese rooms in this mansion. But she's gonna, she's gonna completely just fail to mention the Japanese style building out, out back in the garden in the forest area. She's she gonna, she gonna convene like, yeah, yeah, there's no Japanese style rooms in the mansion. She's not, she's not lying. But she, she's gonna, she's gonna fail to mention that there's a building on the property that has said rooms. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It's nothing. I just thought it was odd. Don't worry about it. Hmm? What is so odd about not having a Japanese room? Oh, you know. This mansion's so big, I thought maybe there was at least one. Oh, she is gonna tell him about it! Okay. <laughs> there is a detached Japanese style building, however. Eh? <laughs> now that she mentions it, of course. In the middle of the forest in the garden, there was a Japanese-style mansion. Goodness, you really have become more energetic. I think I will only be in the way if I stay longer, so I will, I will return to my room. I think she just doesn't want to accidentally give away more than <laughs> she should. Even though it would probably be for the best if she told him, but whatever. Standing up from the chair, Akia goes to leave the room. Thanks, Akia. Sorry for making you stay here this whole time. Uh, please don't mind. Starting tomorrow, your daily life will, uh, will become more like this. Huh? After saying something I don't quite understand, Akia exits the room. What is she... Okay. Interesting. I turn off the lights and rest in bed. Thanks to Akia taking care of me, I feel more relaxed. At this rate, I should be able to dream peacefully for the first time in days. Take a deep breath and slowly close my eyes. Right before I fall asleep, the memory of myself being tended by a young Akia freshly surfaces in my mind dark Japanese style room where no one came to see me. Did she sneak away from Makihisa? Akia snuck in and cried as she held my hand. I'm sorry, she was saying. I didn't know why, but the black haired girl kept repeating I'm sorry over and over. I remember about the proud eldest daughter of the Tono family who was the only one to care for me. girl always crying in the dark Japanese room. I bit my tongue in frustration while being dizzy from fever. I wonder why she was crying. <laughs> huh. If it was me, I would never, never let Akia cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shikin, uh, Shikin san. Her tears were simply beautiful. Since that time, 
I vowed to be her real brother. Interesting. So... So he's obviously remembering his true memories prior to the hypnosis, right? But... If this was before he started actually treating her like a sister... Why would you say she's sorry? Maybe... Hmm. Is it possible she knew why his actual parents were killed? Like, the truth behind it, and was... And even after being taken in, he was treated like an outsider, so she was just... Sad for him, maybe? Like having his family stripped away, then being treated as an outsider by the, by the family that took you in. Well, yeah, but... So then... So, but then he would have had to have been hypnotized... Later and not immediately, right? If that were the case. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. Because he was hypnotized into believing he was the actual Tonoshiki. Even though he is, but just different branch family Tono... Whatever. Thinking he was the, like the, the main family Tonoshiki. So it had to have been... The hypnosis had to have been sometime after that then. Instead of like at, right after it happened. I guess. But... But he would have been taken to... Well, no, because he was taken to the hospital immediately, though. So that doesn't fit. Because wasn't he... Tr no, but I guess the Tonos would have had to treat him. Otherwise, he would have died. So Tonos treated him... To where the wound wasn't fatal, I guess. Then dropped him in the hospital? Mm, okay. So Tonos use whatever their fucking ability is to heal him. He gets hypnotized. Then his wound being not fatal, he was dropped in the hospital. From there, he recovered and then was sent to the Arimas. Okay. That makes sense. Aki Honestly, Akiha's story... Is it bad to say that I'm I'm more invested in like the family stuff, like of what's going on, than I was with like Roa and and Nero and all that stuff going on with an Arkwood and Ciel's route? Like I like I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just I just find it more intriguing. But to be fair, I wouldn't have that intrigue if I didn't have the teasing of it from the first two routes. So it's like. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Peace.